signaling a junction with junction indicators. Here we have five possible routes, straight on, two to the left, two to the right, some automatic signals, each with AWS magnets, and here we need to place a 5T with feathers 1, 2, 4 and 5. It also has a calling on, that's the two white lights below the main aspects. We're not interested in that this time. Click once to the left of the track, place link 0 adjacent to the signal. Click to place link 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We now need to tell the signal which links of the 1 to 5 that we have can we uh, activate the relevant junction indicators. Now junction indicators are numbered from top to bottom on the left hand side. So the top one on the left is number 1, middle on the left is number 2 and bottom on the left is number 3 and then top to bottom on the right hand side the top one on the right is number 4 middle on the right is number 5 and bottom on the right which isn't shown on this signal as the same as bottom on the left doesn't exist on this signal is number 6. So this has F12 on the left and 45 on the right. So let's give our signal an ID so link number 1 is actually for feather number 2 so we put a 2 in the character box Link number two needs feather number one, so we put a one in the character box. Straight ahead, we don't want a feather illuminated. The fourth link is for feather number four, and the fifth link is for feather number five. We already have a AWS magnet placed and some signals running up to it, along with a train ready to go. So here we have our train. The route is set for straight ahead and if you zoom into that signal you can see it is currently illuminated with just a green aspect. If we change the path far left we get feather number two. Feather number one there if we switch to the other side, we get feather number four. And then feather number five. 